Hi guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Come in the comments. Let me know where you're from. I always love to see where people are joining from. I'm going to pull from Soul Helper Oracle. Please pardon the noisy neighbors. Nothing I can do. Um, I have tried to let them know that I work from home and yeah, can't get no respect around here. My apologies. Anyway, let's pull a card from Soul Helper Oracle to activate the reading and see what your message is today. Card number 10, feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. You are not alone. I love that. Um, 10 is a great number numerologically. It's about completion, something coming to culmination. The zero is a little extra added angel protection. That number reduces to a one. So there may be something sort of culminating and then resetting to a new beginning. I like it. All right, what I'm gonna do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll do a little clarification as needed. And that will be that. Here we go for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, don't let me forget, Pisces, I meant to me mention last reading that you are the winner of next month's bonus reading. Yay! So each month I choose a sign to get a bonus reading. And that bonus reading is then conducted the following month. So I meant to mention it, um, and I usually mention it in the first half of the month. So here we are in the last day of July, and I should have mentioned it um, in your last reading. But yes, sometime in the first half of August, you will be getting a bonus reading. So that's three readings in August for you. I'm thanking you for your continued support. Pisces has been one of those signs that has been true blue and invested in my work from day one. So I really look forward to that bonus reading. Stay tuned, it will be forthcoming. All right, here we go. But of course. <laughs> So it says, feel the power of your ancestor's blood and your ancestor. Oh, no. Let me say that again. Feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. You are not alone, but your number was 10. And here we have the 10 of wands. And I said to you, there's something coming to a culmination. It has, it's very likely that it's something that has been stressful, difficult, challenging, even a little burdensome. And so you wanna feel that you're getting some support through your bloodline from the ancestors from beyond, um, helping you, protecting you, supporting you as you give this final push and then release so you can get some relief. Um, offload a heavy burden. Yes, indeed. Oh, very interesting. And it's something that's been playing out for a while. You've likely been very patient. Um, yeah, there you go. Whew, maybe through many cycles even. All right, so top row is your person, middle row is your energy, bottom row is the connection, past, present, future. Remember, it can come through reversed, especially if you're a cross watcher because it's a general reading, not a private reading, but take it as it resonates for you. Um, I'm feeling like your person uh, in the past here, I do have present energy of the emperor in the past, a little, a, a little um, emotional detachment almost. Um, yeah, some energy of maybe feeling like, uh, yeah, some sadness, but it, there's more of a disconnect here, possibly dealing with um, some energies here with regard to a feminine archetype of a life partner. I'm not sure that's you. Uh, just going to say, but now in the near future, it is about that energy. It is about someone that can bring them that sense of stability. That would be you. 
So do you see what I'm saying? Like I'm pulling from the past and then it sort of morphs into the future. Um, Four of Swords for you, there is a healing element in the future. Um, but in the past for you, just something that you were aware would take some time. Um, and now that it's coming to fruition, that's where you get the relief and the healing and the comfort and the calm. Uh, your energy right now with this Knight of Wands feels like this person may be coming in for a passionate return. Almost like we come full circle in the connection. In the past, uh, there was a crossroads moment. And I feel like this person had uh, an important decision to make. And then their decision left them sort of uh, disillusioned. Now, in the connection in the near future, and I know I'm kind of all over the map here, but it's like I'm pulling a thread and it's uh, taking me in different places. We'll, we'll look at it all with the clarifiers. In the near future for the connection, the hanged man is kind of coming through as a surrender moment. Um, I like it. This is your card here, Pisces, just so we're clear. It's, it's Neptune. And sometimes the hanged man is like where we press pause, but other times it's like, oh, we finally closed out a difficult cycle that's the theme here um and then we get this new beginning so i'm seeing something really beautiful unfolding here it's something that's been unfolding for quite some time so let's jump in and see what details we can get yes right a passionate return of the king of pentacles to the empress Wow, the stressful days are done. Um, definitely something unburdening, a uh, release, relief, a return of, um, of what I believe is the divine masculine to the feminine. Mm hmm yeah. The pace is picking up. Um, this feels very connected to me, to Lion's Gate. We're in that portal right now, which opened on July 26th, peaks on 8-8. This year, it's actually 8-8-8. So a little bit stronger, extra energy. Um, it's a manifestation portal, an ascension portal, very powerful in the Twin Flame um, Collective, but I'm feeling that return. I'm feeling the energies. So let's go ahead and I'm going to probably go into a little more detail for this reading. Let's look at the Four of Cups to the Emperor, past to present. King of Swords, almost always present in the Pisces readings in the Four of Cups. Little bookends there. Um, very anxiety-ridden situation. This person really wanted to do the right thing. And definitely feeling like uh, maybe lost an opportunity, uh, but had to take matters into their own hands, take some control, had to uh, do what they had to do, um, not without worry, not without a, a lot of anxiety, uh, a lot of discontent. Um, but now in that driver's seat energy of the emperor to the queen of pentacles, in the future position, hierophant, page of pentacles, wheel of fortune. So there's um, a, a turning of the tides here. I feel like this person is absolutely focused on some you know, form of commitment or the conventional committed relationships aspect of their connection to you. But it's like the first step, right? It's almost like I'm, I'm aware that there's been separation and, and that this has been unfolding over time very organically. But now destiny and fate are beginning to enter the picture. And now it's you. It's not someone else or something that they had to deal with um, and, and deal with in a very stressful way. Now it's about you. Um, yeah, I know. Just, just going to say. 
So let's go to your energy here in the center. The Seven of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands. What you've waited for. It seems like after all this time and the heaviness of it, yes, this person that had to do what they had to do, had to kind of go somewhere, walk away, leaving you behind, leaving you sort of feeling that, yes, there was this important decision that had to be made. That was the connection. I feel you were kind of aware of it. I feel you were kind of aware of it. But that was then, and this is now. It's unfolded over time, like I said, Seven of Pentacles. Um, and not easy, not easy energy. Uh, for this person, it was more of um, an important decision. For the connection, it was a crossroads moment. And certainly now, it's like that patience of yours has paid off because the seven of pentacles in your in your energy that that return is now happening so let's look at the knight of wands and the four of swords in the near future <laughs> of course it flipped lovers Knight of Pentacles, okay, and Temperance. More patience, but kind of like a going with the flow. Yeah, I can go with the flow because I know this person is on their way. And even though we have the Knight of Wands, which is usually a very fast-moving energy, it's being tempered, right, by a, by a lot of practicality, by somebody who is coming toward you, sure, with a lot of passion to bear, but with um, you know, uh, with this approach that's very um, deliberate and intentional, um, beginning with the end in mind. You know, this person is thinking long term. And since they're coming in with a page of pentacles, they're also coming in with the knight, which is like, I'm going to take this first step and then I'm going to be very deliberate and very intentional and I'm going to be very um, aware of where I'm headed in this. And it brings in a lot of healing. Uh, especially because what has happened here over time is the, you know, it has been weighing on you and weighing on you and weighing on you. It is hard. It is burdensome. It is difficult, stressful, exhausting. But now the choice to be made is very clear. The choice is the union of your souls. And when it arrives, it arrives is sort of what I'm feeling from you. It's like, I know it's on its way to me. And so I don't have to kind of sweat it. I just have to um, be prepared to receive it. And then, you know, I kind of get to enjoy it in, in, in a very much of a state of <coughs> comfort, of healing. You know the healing it will bring after all this time. <clears throat> of trusting yourself, of trusting your inner knowing, your intuition. Oof. Okay. So the connection, I understand the two of swords. Now we have the world and the hanged man. That's my big curiosity. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Plus the two major arcana, big shifts, queen of wands, king of wands. Whoo, eight of swords. Okay. Let's not panic here. Give me an extra card on the hanged man. The moon. That, that's intuition. Surrendering to your intuition instead of your fear. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that because we don't want to tempt fate here, right? We have fates working in our favor. So when we have the world right now, it, it's not just about coming full circle. It's about closing. This is, this is a card of new beginnings, but we get there by way of an ending. So there's a cycle ending here, clearly. We have a 10, we have a 10, uh, but the ending is of something that's been very much a, of a burden, um, something you've carried for quite a while, both of you, quite frankly. So when I'm looking in the connection, I'm realizing that there's a very difficult um ending here an ending of something that's been difficult it's like we made it 
And so the beginning is, is joyful and passionate, all that Knight of Wands energy. And look, King and Queen of Wands, the passion, the chemistry, the I can't, you know, believe we, we've got this. It's, you know, s s walking down the street hand in hand and sparks flying off of you. People can't take their eyes off of you. It's really electric. And then we've got the Eight of Swords. So I have two thoughts about it. I almost feel it's coming through reversed. Right? Liberating yourselves from a prison of your own making. Getting out of your own way finally. Right? Eliminating that, the self-limiting beliefs, the self-doubt. Right? You, you're proving yourselves to yourselves that you were right all along. So there's no reason to, to second guess. There's no need. Um, because what is happening here is there is a surrendering to the fact that you make made it. And so there's this trusting of your intuition. The moon isn't always about fear. The moon is our intuition. The moon, right? When we get rattled, it's because we're not trusting our intuition. And so I'm feeling like this, this hanged man is your opportunity to surrender to your inner knowing, to trusting your intuition and to receiving this wonderful triumphant homecoming and the peace that it will bring. Yeah. The, to, to the victor go the spoils. There's glory here. It's just beautiful. And I love, of course, I'm so visual. I love the reference of the reeds. It's just so glorious and it feels to me like a perfect reading for lion's gate which is you know uh, our superpower of manifestation portals it is our greatest ascension portal and it's all coming together right here right now while we're in the portal um, so I'll be doing uh, if I can pull it off a special reading on 8-8 so stay tuned for that and shortly thereafter you'll have an extra bonus reading so stay tuned for that whoo pisces i'm very excited for you um yes i'm gonna take this to the extended let's go deeper into a behind the scenes look for our emperor uh, we will get more information from what they're processing how they feel about you or see you at this moment intentions toward you etc um, there are a couple different ways you can get the extendeds and you are going to see in the description box below there are three links numbered option one or option two or option three. Please click on a link, read about it, be sure you know what you're getting. I have separated them because people were getting confused. Um, and before uh, I close out, I want to give you the astrology, but if this has been insightful, if you've enjoyed it, if it's been confirmational, if it has brought your heart some happiness or warmth or some healing, and you have not yet, please do subscribe below. That is the only way I can stay here on this platform. There have been some algorithmic changes that are making it really difficult for me to stay, and so I am. that is my ask. Subscribe if you haven't like if you feel so called, uh, share if there's someone you think might benefit from the messages. That's all I ask, right? You don't have to get the extended. I understand that. Um, but this is really a numbers game of views and subscri subscribers to get YouTube, which is a mechanical alg algorithmic platform to let them know, oh yeah, she's still here and we like what she's doing, so show her to other people. That's really how it operates. Um, so that's my ask. Okay, here we go. We have got the Knight of Wands is out twice, that's Sagittarian energy. King of Pentacles is Taurus. The beautiful Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra. King of Swords, but of course is Aquarian energy. We have the Emperor, don't you know? Aries, 
Um, Hierophant is Taurus Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles. Let's just out once or twice once um capricorn we have the lover's card is gemini the knight of pentacles is virgo temperance more sagittarian energy the world card is saturn aquarius and capricorn queen of wands is aries king of wands is leo hanged man as i said is neptune which rules pisces and the moon is pisces so that's what I have. Um, Headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second.